Goodbye, house. I'm actually having a blast to get, get rid of, you know, some of the haunted vibe. Maybe then the ghost kids leave me alone. Anyway, today's the start of a, of a long journey to Chicago and then St. Louis. First in New York for some food. I haven't done that in a while. How you doing? I'm good. Have you ready a pizza and a consomme? It's for four people. Well, that's okay. I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> There we go. This is about five pounds. No joke, this is about five pounds. They're saying this is usually made for four people. Lucky I haven't had breakfast yet. A cup of consomme on top. I was already drooling heavily when they were making this. Let's take a look at this up close and personal. Wahaha. Wahaha. Two jalapenos sitting on top. Cheese pole. The box even got a cheese pole. When's the last time that happened? Let's get a slice while it's hot. See all the cheese oozing out from the outside already? There's no easy way of doing this. Oh, oh. look at that layer of melty cheese. So what they did was, they basically did a layer of cheese, then meat, then onions and cilantro, guacamole, another tortilla, more cheese, and the tortilla is dipped in amazing consomme. Look at this. <laughs> I was having a bad morning. No longer. Oh, this is good. Mm. The tortilla is amazingly flaky and soaked in that delicious consomme. More cheese than a teenage romance novel. By the hot pino delicious. It's impossible to kind of take a whole slice out without disrupting the, the layers of filling. Oh my goodness. This is a whole slice right here. This is it. This is a whole slice with a little bit of everything. Mm. Oh, I'm getting neck pains for, from how far I had to twist my neck to eat the cheese. Now, everything goes into the consomme. A little consomme drip on my car. I'm sure I wouldn't mind. Mm. That is a wet, sloppy, slurpy, delicious bite. Also throw on some of that hot sauce. This thing is good with the sauce. It's great with the consomme. It's delicious by itself. Basically what I'm saying is, you're never gonna have a bad bite. Everything about this, it's the overabundance of cheese, the melting your mouth beef, crispy tortilla. Basically just screams decadence. And as heavy as it is, and trust me, it is heavy. Actually goes down kind of light. I mean, the tortilla melts, the beef melts. I ate about half this so far, still feel pretty good. But I think the wisest thing to do with this though, is a word I don't utter often, share. I got a meeting later, so I'm gonna bring the rest of these to Flushing. I'm actually going to take a look at uh, how the ramen shop is doing right now. It's uh, a lot of updates since I was there last. So excited to see what it looks like because we are trying to open it, I think, I think by next month, latest October. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a look and my car is gonna smell good.
got to Flushing a little early, so I'm gonna have lunch number two before my meeting. And I heard about this place from a friend of mine, Sea Top Barbecue. And apparently what you're supposed to get is the fatty beef here. So this is a this barbecue place. I don't think it's new. I was told to only get the fatty beef, which I think is Q1, $25. This is very reminiscent of what they use for barbecue inside mainland China. One thing is, it is hot in here, especially with the charcoal burning in front of you. Two words, worth it. Incredibly tender beef. Just bursting with umami. You got a nice blend of fat in here. It's just slightly a little bit charred. So much nice garlicky flavor in this juicy meat as well. And the dipping sauce is exceptional. So if you want a little something a little creamy, dip it in the sesame sauce, a little spicy, a little creamy. I think a little bit sour as well. Or you can go a little traditional, dip it into the chilies and cumin, more of a traditional street barbecue flavor. Mm. What I like about this marinade is that it's not overpowering at all, like a lot of times marinated meat is. Is it really just boosts up that garlic and umami flavor, which makes it so much better, 100%. Gotta dip it into the sesame paste. This thing's out of this world. Also, what's really great is that they're actually using wood charcoal, and traditionally, that is how barbecue is cooked in China. So you get that really nice smoky flavor from the wood as well. I mean, what are meat is not cheap. It is good. Oh, I had to eat it and get out. Oh my goodness. That was so hot in there. The air conditioning wasn't really working. Plus you're sitting in front of like a charcoal grill. Food was good, but I think I lost more weight eating that. I'm at the H Mart Plaza um, here in Flushy Northern Boulevard. All right, it doesn't seem like it's uh, too different from before. I don't really see the signage up yet. The lights on inside, there's no signage up here either. Still looks like it needs a lot of work. What up? Oh. Where's, oh, there's no tables though. Uh, we're keeping them out because uh, we're wrapping up and I don't want them to get damaged. You're going to have your hostess station right here, seating right here. Okay. going to be more seating. This is seating too? We have the uh, yakitori, yakitori, right? Yeah, this is the yakitori bar. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. How many people can see see here? Like 60? 38, 40 people are upstairs. Uh -huh. And another like 28 people downstairs. Wait, are we seating people downstairs? Yeah, of course. Oh, is that, is that the, the lounge area or something? Yeah, it's, no, it's a bar. And, and it's easy the bar, bar area? Yeah. Are we serving noodles down there or no? No. Just the speakeasy? Yeah, so they come up to eat noodles. Uh -huh. and they could go down and have Desserts. cocktails. Desserts and tea. Do we set up the downstairs? Yeah. Let's see. The downstairs looks amazing right now. Oh, this is the bar? Yeah, this is the bar. Oh, they put the glass in. Yeah, they put the glass in. Look at the ceiling. It's gold uh, tiling. Nice, right. nice. What's well, gonna have like mood lighting or something? Yeah, everything's <laughs> gonna be mood lighting. It's gonna be, you see the finish, we're giving it a little Asian flair. Uh huh, this is sh like 1920 Shanghai. Yeah, yeah, old Shanghai, old Shanghai. What's this? That's the <clears throat> wine cellar. We're gonna have all the you know, liquor. So, and you see the walls? These are uh, solid piece walls right here. Yeah, what does that mean? Imported from Italy, Italian walls. These are all single cut pieces. So, when are we opening this thing? September? Yeah, September. End of September? Yeah. We'll do a very limited number of openings, I think. Uh, yeah. We want to limit the number of ramen so we can keep up the quality. So I'll let you guys know when this place is going to be open around September. So right here, you know, the entrance, uh -huh. we're planning to do uh, 
you guys, did you see the Van Gogh uh, immersion exhibit? Van Gogh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so we're basically gonna do a projector to fill the walls. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So sweet. when you walk in, you, you feel like you're walking sweet. into Alice the Wonderland. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Sounds cool. Food's gotta be good though. Of gotta course. Be really good. 100%. Number one. I don't know what that's gonna be. I think that might be another apartment building or, or a mall or something. But it's gonna be a shame that you can't see kind of at least a little bit of the skyline of Manhattan anymore. But they built this hotel right uh, across, like, like it's the same building almost as my parents' place. So every time I visit, I just stay here and not on their couch. See? Hotel. My parents' place. Food. Well, also food, <laughs> but flushing food first. My favorite pancake place in flushing. Oh, a new Leongfian Chinese burger place. Wait a minute, this, this was the place that was at the bottom of the New World Mall. They have really good Chinese burgers here. But this is where you go. The lamb's my favorite. I'm getting six of those, and then I'm getting four beef. I'm gonna take a bunch to Chicago so Christine's family can try it. So I don't <laughs> and there's a pork one. This one's okay. I forgot what the beef tastes like, but lamb is still my favorite. This is an eggplant salad. Mm. Oh, that's good. Good veggies today. First full day in St. Louis. Last time I was here, almost a decade ago, I think, on my first trip uh, out to California from New York. This place is near where I'm staying. Anyway, check it out. This is a butcher shop and you can order food on this side. Oh, this place looks so good. What do you think? Uh, what do you like? Everything, meat, great. Okay, uh, I really like the pork steak. Pork steak, yes, I really like do the it. Turkey breast. The pork belly is my absolute favorite. Though. Okay, let's do all of that. 30 ounce pork steak. I've seen pictures. And you don't even need to use a knife either. You don't even need to use a knife. No. Whew. Can't wait for this. So we throw it on the grill and sear it on both sides. You sear your potato salad. Yeah. We're doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm taking that shirt, by the way. So thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. It's for a nonprofit I work with. That's awesome. So St. Louis, of course, is known for barbecue, especially the St. Louis short ribs, which I'm gonna eventually go to a couple places that are known for that. But this place, um, I just found it because it's really near where I'm staying right now. And even though I lived near St. Louis, I uh, went to school about two hours from here, I've been here multiple times. I've never really explored the food scenes, so gonna have some time to do that. Here comes the candy bacon. Wow. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they... let me show you what happened, look at this. They, they layer the ribs like they're building a log house. Oh my goodness. It's like they're laying these ribs up, getting ready for a bonfire or something. The cheddar sausage, okay, that looks all right. Seared potato salad, never seen a place that did this. You see potato salad in all the burger places, never seared potato salad. Candied bacon, beautiful. This is, uh, wait, what did I get? This is the turkey, and this is the crown jewel, 30 ounce pork steak. There is so much happiness surrounding me right now. 30 ounce, 30 ounce pork steak. Also, Christine's here with me, obviously. Are you excited for this? Yes. This is our first meal in your, well, this is your hometown now. Our hometown. Our hometown now? <laughs> oh, oh. The gentleman inside told me you actually don't even need a knife. Oh, he was right. You don't need a knife. Look at the smoke ring on this baby and look at this 
Boom! Okay, here, watch this. Are you kidding me? And the meat, good amount of fat mixed in with the lean meat. Again, slight twist of the fork. Look at that, huh? <laughs> that is so good. As soon as you take a bite, the smoke just invades and just covers up your taste buds, just lingering on the tip of your tongue. Ah, the fatty part. It melts on your tongue, slight sweetness, like it's like a, like a savory sweet peck on the cheek from this pork steak. Oh, that is so good. Try, Christine. It's so smoky. Mm hmm. I've never had a uh, seared potato salad before. Just chase a little bit with a side. Delicious. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's a fatty piece of pork belly. This is delicious. Especially the fatty part. It's just like a smoked chashu. <laughs> I could just... Is it dessert? Is it breakfast? Is it something savory and fatty and makes you just feel good and makes your heart skip a little bit? Basically, all the above. Forget a box of chocolates or a basket of strawberries. Get your lover some of this. Candy bacon. Seriously, what would you rather have? Bouquet of flowers? Bouquet of bacon? Mm, right. mm. What? It's burning candy. It's burning candy, right? Uh -huh. Would you rather I ever give you flowers? No. Or just bacon? No, don't even think about it. Yeah, just this bacon, bacon, right? Uh -huh. A bouquet of bacon. I'll make it look nice. You don't even have to make it look nice. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the fried ribs. So they barbecue the ribs. And they deep fry it. What kind of mad food geniuses work at this place? I don't know. I never want them to stop. This is so good. The ribs is good, but to fry it and the outside is so nice and charred and it's caramelized because of the sugar in the sauce. The rib is incredibly tender, but it's the outside caramelization that makes this all oh, so unique and special and delicious. I like the sauce, it's really unique. That's a tangy sauce, right? It's sweet, but not too sweet. 100% recommend if you come here. And definitely this, the candy bacon, definitely that pork steak too. What a good place. Ah, first meal in St. Louis, did not disappoint. Oh, and my first mosquito bite in St. Louis too. So this is the new apartment. Um, this is apparently one of the most anticipated apartment buildings in St. Louis area. I think it's very, very expensive, but this is, let me give you a quick tour. So this, sorry, it's a mess. This is the kitchen, little kitchen island. This is the bedroom. Really not big at all. This is, I think, why it costs so much, is this. This is the view, which is really, really nice. And I think it'd be even better in the fall when the leaves start changing. And like I said, I still have my place in Dallas. I'll be there a lot, but I'm in this relationship and it's going really well and it's progressing very quickly. So I do want to spend a lot of time here in St. Louis as well. So that's a kind of an update on my life. Not that you guys asked for it, but that's kind of what's going on right now. I know it's kind of confusing me going around the country so much, but that's what's happening. And now I got to go back to my duties of putting together the furniture, which would not require this. I don't know why. And uh, I'll give you guys a tour of this whole building later. All right, let me show you guys around this building. So this is where all the amenities in this building are. This is the business center. Which I've never been in here before. So a good place just to hang out. Do some studying, print some stuff. We can also use conference rooms here. Game room, what is this? Ooh, little mini ping pong table. Coffee machine. So there's some games, Scrabble, pool table, place to relax, chess set. There's a party room. Okay, so this, I guess, if you have guests over, 
We can use this place. Oh, there's outdoor seating too. Look at this. There's a kitchen in here. You can cook for your guests. Then you guys could just eat right here. That's kind of neat. In case you want to have a dinner party where your apartment is too small. This is the pool deck. Oh, there's a couple of grills you can use for free. This is a tiny pool though, only three feet. And this is the gym. Treadmill, small weight room. Not big, but sufficient. Never thought in a million years that all roles would lead me back, back to Missouri. I guess like the great Hillary Swink once said, you never know where life's gonna take you, but it's gonna take you. I guess the lesson is, whatever you think is gonna happen in life, don't get too comfortable. And as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again from St. Louis, Missouri.